Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to host a cheap Minecraft server which works with both Minecraft Java as well as Minecraft Bedrock. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go to your web browser and you want to go to your search bar and search up for Pebblehost. I will have also Pebblehost in the description as well if you need it. So all you need to do here is simply go to your search bar and type in Pebble Host, like so. Once you did this, you should see pebblehost.com. Simply click on pebblehost here, and this will bring you to the homepage for pebblehost. Now, all you want to do is go to the Minecraft section here, and you want to go to budget Minecraft hosting. Then, all you want to do is scroll down, and you'll see the tiers for that. You see that budget is $1 per gigabyte, so $1 per gigabyte per month. And here we see that we have pretty good hardware for the price which is always good to see. Then all you want to do here is simply scroll down and you'll see the configuration panel here. This is just simply how much RAM that you want. So it says that here it recommends 5GB of RAM so I'll just be buying 5GB of RAM but I did try it before with lower and it did work as well. So you can see what you want but yes there you go. So that will be $5 per month USD. So all you want to do here is simply go on add to cart and here you have a whole entire new building panel. So here it says 5 gigabyte budget Minecraft, okay, $5 per month. Now, there is a bit more settings here where I would like to show you. So if we scroll down, this is the billing cycle. So you want to pay every month or you want to pay every three months, six or 12. Here you can choose which ping you want. So are you going to be having mainly North American players? Are you in North America? Are you in Europe with European players? Or if you have a mix of these, well, you have to choose what you prefer in this case for your actual ping. But I'm just going to choose North America in this case. But yeah, you do have Europe and North America they can choose. For the server version, now, this, as it says, it can be changed. And of course, it can be changed. But you can choose to have a vanilla server, a paper server. You can just click these and it will bring you new things here. But I'm just going to select paper here. So the latest version of paper. But you can choose other softwares as well. Once we go down here, now this is an interesting one here. So here it basically says, do we want a IP or we want an IP with port? Now the only difference of this is basically that here we will have an IP, but we also have to give the players this extra set of numbers. Now there is an exception to this is that here you can actually just connect your domain if you have a domain, and you will have to be have like a bit more steps to this but you will be able to give a domain with both this and this. It's just, this is a bit more simple, kind of, but it is just basically the same thing. It is just if you want to have an extra like set of numbers or you can always remove it. It's not the biggest issue, but yeah, this basically is like negligible. You can have both a private domain here and a private domain here. It's just that here you will have to also set your domain to accept this port as well. So I'm just going to do IP with port here, doesn't matter, but yeah, just be aware of that. If you want a simpler setup, you can use this, but you will also be able to do this here as well. Here you have performance options, so I recommend you don't actually need to touch this at all, but if you want to pay $7 more, you can, but yeah, no, you don't need to do that. So there you go, I just won't be doing it, but yeah, there you go. And server name, now this is just the name of your server, I will just be calling it, I don't know, just my channel name, there you go, Nigerian. And if we scroll down, we have a bit more things. Now here we have DDoS protection. Now this one, a bit controversial. If you're going to be only playing with like a small amount of players, turn this off, honestly, you won't need it. Uh, this is really only an issue. Like if you have things that like, I don't know, high pixel stuff like this. If you're going to have people going to be like trying to break your server, maybe. But like in most cases, you really don't even think about that. Also, please be aware this is hosted on their server, so they also don't want to have DDoS attacks on their end. So maybe this is not even a usable option in the first place. So just be aware of this. Now you can buy this if you're gonna have a bigger server, but if you're gonna have a bigger server, you will probably not even be gonna be looking for like cheaper server hosting. So yeah, I'll keep this one off, honestly. Here, automatic backups, you can do this manually, so this is fine. And you also have backups without the extra backups as well, so yeah. And you only need one of these things in the first place, so yeah, you can have more for more, more people to join your server. And also websites, but in this case, one is good enough. So that's kind of what this is. 
and this will bring you to five dollars so yeah so once you chose all the settings you want for your server all you have to do is simply click next and here it's going to tell you Minecraft support now this is basically my youtube channel here so yeah <laughs> but all you want to do is simply see that you have priority discord support in this but either way you can just do check out once you read through these things so check out and you now have this thing so i will be basically filling up this thing and i'll just be going through complete order once i'm done with this so yeah you also want to complete this if you're going to be buying a pebble host server as well so yeah let's get started okay so once you fill up all the information you have different ways of paying i'll just be using credit slash debit card but you do have other things that you can choose as well and simply do i have read and agreed to this terms of service and just do complete order so once we have done an order all we have to do here is simply pay for the actual thing and the way you're going to be paying for this it is a bit weird but it is kind of simple all you want to do is simply go to billing here my invoices and here you have an unpaid invoice so yes and all you want to do here is simply go on the invoice and once you're here simply go to payment method choose the way that you want to pay and I'm just gonna say, like I did before, press a debit card and simply click pay now. Now it's gonna ask you to pay by adding your information. So I'm just gonna do that. Alrighty, so once you're done, all you wanna do is simply click submit payment. And there you go. We now have paid the server. So all we want to do here is simply go to the actual gaming panel and the way that we go to the gaming panel it is quite simple all we need to do here is simply go to our emails and the way you go to your emails is simply by going to new tab gmail it depends what you're using of course but in this case we have pepperhost and here we see that we have our minecraft service details here so you want to find this email here well this is our confirmation email. This is our Minecraft service email, aka our gaming panel. Simply click on your email for this and here it will tell you everything that you need to sign in to your gaming panel. So once you found this email, all you want to do is click the first link to enter the panel link. Then you want to put your email address here. And you want to put in the temporary password. And there you go. Now all you need to do is go to login and once we're here all you want to do is just paste in the temporary password and choose a password for our game panel like so. Once you chose your password simply do update password and now we now finally have access to the server. So this is our server and to use our server all you want to do is click the server name and we now have everything that we need so now that we have done everything all we need to do is simply click start or we can go through all the files for the server once we have created a server of course so let's just do that. but this will just create a server and then we will be able to play on the server so while this is turning on let's just go on minecraft and we will be able to test out our minecraft server so yeah let's just wait for that okay so once we have minecraft here all we want to do is go to multiplayer and once we have multiplayer all we want to do is go down and wait for the server to fully turn on this is just downloading all the required files and folders so yeah let's just wait for that one Alrighty. so once we have our server here all we want to do is simply go to the server address we want to copy that and we simply want to go to our minecraft add server paste in our, our address and here we have our pebble host server once we click this we are now currently playing on pebble host so yeah that's how we get pebble host to work and if we go to here we just do op a we are now operator 
E, I can do slash game with C. And we are now playing on a Pebble Host Minecraft server. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's how we get Pebble Host for Minecraft Java. So yeah, if you liked today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.